Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. Okay, don't start. You know what? No, no. This is no. the this is the I don't give a fuck edition. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Here's the first off, you're already being rude. We got a guest. Hello. Hi. Yes. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Okay, let us introduce yes. the HHG. And then, and, then I'll, and then I'll continue with you. No. Yeah, so HHG is in the house. Woo-hoo! She's sitting oh. in the back. Him straddling the, the seat. She's straddling, straddling Betty. The seat. Smile from ear to ear. She's Never grin- smiled so big. She's grinning up a storm. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so most straddling, I guess, guys. I don't know. <laughs> hey, but here's the thing, Samantha. Yes, it's a little bit later than normal. I get that. But don't start, right? You, if, if you only have seven hours and 45 minutes of sleep as opposed to eight, you'll be okay. I promise. I promise. Can you shut up, Your world please? will still be okay. Shut up. I'm just saying. Really? Yeah. I'm outing you to my mother. Oh. You're in fucking trouble. Watch your language. We're PG. F-U-C-K. Trouble. Oh. No, I'm not. I'm not. You know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking one yes, to the team. You. I'm not. Because you know, I didn't. I didn't ditch the jars. I didn't ditch the jars. So well, you're in trouble. Because I listened to my mother. Because she, she got a voice. You think I got a voice? She got the okay, voice. But listen. She the original. No, she's in trouble. She is the original. I feel like I'm getting spanked right original, now. And the original. Everyone should know Junior. that. The original. <laughs> Loves her glass jars and her plastic but containers. She, and she gets back her containers. <laughs> and you should know better. You should know better. She never. She probably no, no, started no, no, treating no, you no. like an adult, no. which was her first problem. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's her first nice. problem. That's yeah. nice, Samantha. She's like, yeah. I left Lisa enough notes. She should know. Save the jars. <laughs> but she never left me jar notes. Right. And my mind is very logical. So friends of the podcast, I need to share. This is what we're talking about. So Sam's mom, she's a great baker. She bakes me lots of goodies. She bakes me cakes, cookies, all this. And she also does beets. And I love pickled beets. And you guys know that because I've been talking about this off and on for a few weeks now. What I didn't know is that you're supposed to save the beet jars. I only know this because I decided to be nice. I give my mother-in-law a jar of Sheila's beets. And Hilda took them home. Hilda loved them, sent them. Sent me a note saying, oh, I love the beets, and I will bring you the jar at Christmas. And I'm like, huh? (laughs) (laughs) I don't care. Because Hilda knows. Hilda knows that you have to keep the jar. Well, nobody told Lisa. Yeah. So somebody needed to fill me in. (laughs) And I didn't get a message. Oh. Did you know this, HHG? Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> common. You, you know? That's pretty common courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Really? That makes it seem like, you know, oh and God. I just and I just took your couch and I kept it. Right? <laughs> That's what that makes it sound like. Yeah, pretty much. No, it's just, they're pretty just stupid much. jars, guys. Lisa? No, it's Samantha. <gasps> they're Sheila's. I get that. But it's, they're just It's oh. bigger and better than the world. They're just jars. We'll I will buy them. her new we'll jars. Find some. Okay. Yeah, right? Don't There's panic. gotta be new ones. Don't panic. There's, right? Exactly. <laughs> Everyone calm down. Okay, right? Right? It's not the end of the world. There no. just be jars. Right? <laughs> There'll be Sorry. more. There's more where they came from. <laughs> she buys them in a store, I'll replace them. <laughs> they're probably like pretty they, old jars. Like, well, she's they've getting seen cheap a lot ones. of candy, well, I'm sure. I don't know, but she writes on the lid, so obviously she's not keeping the lids. Because what's she gonna do? It says September twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen or something. She probably knows how to take it off. Yeah. Oh. Hi. It's <laughs> Sheila. Another thing I didn't think about. Have you about. met my mother? I have met your mom. Really? Yeah. Are you I sure? I met your mom. Yes. AJG <laughs> met your mom. Yeah. I, okay. Okay. You tell my mom what you like in a cookie and she'll make it for you. Oh, she I will. will. Yeah. I like Christmas everything time, Lisa eh? likes. Yeah. Just bring, it, bring out the platter. It's really easy to get along <laughs> She's with. She's promising the oatmeal. <gasps> Before Christmas? Yes. Wow. Yeah. She's even starting now, to think, do you think about cookies. Do you think even now she will? She might. Really? Even though she's kind of mad at me? No, I don't, I well, I don't know. She'll bake for the HHG. Can she make protein cookies? <laughs> <laughs> she probably would. She's that girl. She's, she's very accommodating. She's Pinterest a recipe with protein. But her, oat, her oatmeal cookies are like protein. Well, are that's they? true. She's oat. But I don't know. No, no sugar, they're wonderful. The, her oatmeal cookies are like crack. They're like, well, yeah. I love crack. Right? <laughs> right? And if you love crack, and I love crack, right? You just eat Everybody's them. Everybody's going to love crack. The, the crack melts in your mouth. You just eat them, and you're like, what was this that I just ate? Because... I right. introduced them a couple years ago. Two years ago, yeah. mom started making. I had yeah, no yeah. clue that that and was oatmeal. Last year, when I brought them to work, yeah. no, I had no clue. I brought them to work because they don't look like an oatmeal. They'd eaten them the the year before, and they're like, "Is this your mother's Ooh, oatmeal?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And they're like, oh. <laughs> "I wanted more." People wanted the recipe. Oh, yeah. They're like, "What's in yeah. it?" The whole bit. Big deal. Okay, I gotta move on. I got other issues. What? I got other issues. My issue is with the Walmart. I thought we were over that. 
You know why we're not over it? Why are we not over because it? Because I'm not over it. Because Mike's not over it. Because in my house, after <laughs> last week's... Yes, I talked about it last week. But but guess what popped up? Bananas. <coughs> he bought bananas. And they looked horrible. They looked gross. They They're from fine. Walmart. They, no, no, they don't. They don't taste fine. They don't look good. They, they, they got, they got bruises. <laughs> they're bruised. So somebody's been hurting them. Somebody's been hurting. Someone's Abused been touching. Bananas. Somebody's been touching, and oh. they've been using the bananas, right? Who does Ooh, that? What are they using the bananas I don't for? Know. I don't want to know. They're not getting used. Is that why they're bruised? I tell you, they're not getting used in my place whatsoever for nothing. They're sitting on the kitchen table, just like waiting for the little fruit flies to come, waiting for next, waiting for grocery day, so I can throw them out. I said to Mike, I hope you like bananas, because those are yours. I hope co-op's not in strike next week. I, I know, right? That's exactly what we need. Oh and God. there's a new milk in my fridge. Oh. No. Yes. It has a yellow label. It's the same. It's for, I don't think it is. I don't think it's the same at all. Not one no. bit. I'm surprised that your husband isn't buying, like, the sacred dairy I'm surprised land. he's still alive. Sorry, friends <laughs> of the podcast, I have a dry throat. I have to have a drink. And... Talk amongst yourself. Drink, I'll give drink, you a topic. Drink. <laughs> no. Drink. Sh- drink. Sh- shut. Sh- I'm used to the pink labeled milk. This is the yellow labeled milk. Really? I'm dumping it's it out. It's just uh, the label. No, I'm dumping a little bit of it out each night. <laughs> so we're through it. So we're through <coughs> So you're through yep. it. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And then God. Mike just thinks, oh, she loves milk. She's into milk. She's all of a sudden. Old. We're going to have to get well, a cow. <laughs> to be honest. I know you thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we're gonna have instead of two four liters, we're gonna have six four liters. Apparently, my wife's <laughs> liking milk. Yes. Milk. <laughs> That's like a little well, this milk is shirt. your this is your milk drinking season. It though. is because it's cold. Because I don't drink it in the summer. Well, because you think in the summer it's warm. I think in the summer milk is thick and gross. No, it's not. No. Yeah. No, I think I just ugh, yeah. not my cup of tea. That's okay. But 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 you put it in the winter time and then I quite enjoy. Yeah. But mm-hmm. do you know what else people are worried about? People enjoying what? You know who I'm worried about enjoying. HHG. What? What? The, the Tide. Tide's made a new. Uh, they've, <gasps> made, they've made a new box for the detergent, and it looks like a wine box. Love it. <laughs> and when I saw it, I thought of you. <laughs> Where does most do most housewives do their um, drinking? wine drinking? I don't know. Where <laughs> do the they do it? Room. In the laundry room. <laughs> or is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> and that would be why I'm worried. Right? You should be worried. Because you're gonna forget. <laughs> yes, because it Am has I a little spout a little just drink? like the wine box. It looks like a wine <laughs> box. Yeah, and it like blew up the internet. Hey. Really? Yeah, they were talking about it. They blew up the oh, internet. So concerned. Yeah. So concerned. Yeah. So, concerned so before you have a glass of blue wine, right. you, you need to send me a message. I, I, say, I think it's I'm so... Like, what color is that? Right? <laughs> is it safe to drink? That's right. I had some shots of tequila. Is this wine <laughs> safe? No, that wine looks like it's going to clean your clothes. That'd be the tide. Exactly. That would be the tide. Yeah, that well, would I be the tide. That's awesome. Yeah. It can go side by side like bookends. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, but I heard the Keurig is making a machine that actually, like, make cocktails yeah like they did the moscow mule mm. that's what it's gonna do really yeah. Yeah. for the laundry machine room <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden where's the best place in in, in the hhg zone the laundry the room. Room. So i got more wash to do dear <laughs> i am never done right, and then you get like a big screen tv you got yeah. your netflix you got yeah this is the, and they're doing something for uh like colds too nighttime colds that's right pockets so. for like the neo citron mm-hmm. right cold medication yeah yeah that's it's heavenly. Like that is like lazy. What? You, know what? you don't have to get out the scissors to cut the thing. Right? <laughs> you don't have to boil the water. You yeah. boil the water. No. Right? Who's got time for a kettle? You don't even have kettle. If you have a Keurig, you don't even have kettles anymore. Really? Newsflash. Oh, I didn't know that. I have a kettle. Do you have a kettle? <laughs> I have a plug-in kettle. What, do you have, have it on the stove kettle? No. Do you have a plug-in have kettle? A plug-in kettle. Yeah. 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 But yeah. if you have a Keurig, you don't need it. No. Why? Well, how do you, you make can... your hot chocolate then? You can just put hot water through the Keurig. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's the best. And uh, also you can get hot chocolate pods. Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? Right? But I've had the I hot chocolate pods. I was thinking out of I drinking. Just, I, oh, <laughs> I just came up with a new slogan. <laughs> Say it take, again. Take all the thinking out of drinking. Take it all the thinking out of drinking. Oh, my God. There's nothing wrong with that, with that, oh with that phrase. We're going to lose basic skills. You realize that, I hey? know. I don't I know. know. We won't know how to do anything. But we already don't know how to do anything. Mm-hmm. Well, this is true. We already don't know We're nothing. Screwed. We're already screwed, We're right? So screwed. Yeah, but speaking of screwed, guess what? What? My rider's lost, guys. Oh. Yeah. Right? Okay. I hadn't heard. <laughs> you hadn't heard. <laughs> you hadn't heard. 
right? It was like the moan that went around the world. Yes. Right? They played like hell. They played yeah. so bad. They didn't deserve to win. No. But but you know what? They didn't deserve to break my heart. No. <laughs> right? You didn't deserve no, that. No, I didn't deserve that. Did not deserve that. Uh, well. you, know what I, you know what the HHG didn't deserve? What? What? Me shaming her with appetizers. That's right. Good. So <laughs> shameful. Made me leave my house on my day off. I know, in right? In my pajamas. In your pajamas. <laughs> I'm like, just put on a ball cap and just go. <laughs> Who cares? I'm like, and then you started causing me great angst because you're like, oh, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, because kickoff's in an hour and a half. I made should... it home in time. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, of, you should already be of. there. Back. <laughs> and I sent you a picture about it. Yes, and I thought that's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. That was just, and that was just for like last weekend. There's food for this weekend too, even though we're not in it. Well, those oh. of, those of us who were working, yeah. Didn't give a shit. You didn't give a shit. I know. I, I felt that yeah. in your in your comment back, Samantha. <laughs> I completely felt that you didn't give a shit. Right? <laughs> Why am I sounding like the mean person here? Mm. But I kind of don't care. I <laughs> don't care. Because you don't care. Because <laughs> you don't care. DFC. Right? I DFC you all the time. DFC and all everything. I do is care. Yeah. <laughs> the HHG cares. You don't care. I don't care. Right? And I'm in the middle of I'm in the middle of caring. <laughs> you're the, right? No, you're not. Yes, I care. No, you're not. I do, too. I completely do care. Yeah. Lisa? Samantha. What's your problem about pretzels? I don't even get pretzels. I'm like I'm like anti pretzels, I think. Not the soft pretzels. I love Auntie Annie's pretzels. <laughs> I don't even know who Auntie Annie is. <gasps> She's the best pretzel. But there's a pretzel place coming into the mall. Yes. Why? Mr. Pretzel. What do you mean why? Why? It's like a yummy one. Like a yummy one. Like, like a the doughy big pretzel. Hot pretzels. Yeah. Doughy. Like doughy. Mm. So do they think the people of Saskatchewan. But I'm on the keto diet. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Trying like, it. Well, obviously they came to the right province because as Saskatchewan people, we don't give a shit. No, I want the but I want the pretzel. We will carb it up all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Is a pretzel a carb? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, it's, it's bread. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Oh, I didn't know take really... you to school on carbs. <laughs> yeah, right? and I don't really know that stuff. I don't know what a carb is. I, I think you're is. lacking here a little bit. Her schooling is not quite finished. Not right, quite right, finished, right. Eh? We're still working on it. Yeah, still working. <laughs> yeah, but no, okay, my issue, not with the yummy pretzels. My issue is with the hard, yucky pretzels. Mm -hmm. Why do they got to put them in that bag? I know, just keep the good stuff. In the munchie keep bag. The in the munchie stuff. bag. Why with do they got to like, do that? The sun chip, the Cheeto. Yeah. The fun stuff. The fun stuff. And then you get the pretzel. Yeah. Because it's a filler. But then everybody then, hates pretzels. But then it's dry. Do you remember that? Do you remember the commercial from the seventies and two spice rings and one? Remember and they had the little shreddies on it. Remember that food? Do you remember? Bits and bits nuts and, and bites. And no bits no, and bites. It's okay. nuts and always, bolts. No, it's, in Ontario it's bits and bites. It was nuts and bolts in Saskatchewan. Okay. And then it bits and bites. Bits yeah, and bites. But now it is okay. bits and bites. Yeah, bits and bites. Right. Okay. Yeah. Two spice rings, one <laughs> shreddies. I don't know what. But there was like a guy, a cartoon guy, who talked about it. But then my issue with the pretzels is that because I don't like the shape of them, the hard ones. Why not just make them the pretzel stick? Why not just do the stick? That's mm. boring. As opposed to the shape. Yeah. Who got time for the shape? Because that's two bites. It's not one bite. Well, and who's <laughs> eating the bite. whole pretzel? You take one little bite and you're like, Nobody right. likes it. Nobody no. likes it. So why do they make them? Because they're good. So waste of money. So it's a good filler. You don't need a filler. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying. So it's not that I don't have a big issue with it. I just have a little issue with uh -huh. it. That's all. I'm just saying. Have right. you been watching a little TV on your day off? <laughs> yeah, I had two days off in a row. Mm -hmm. I've been, I know, right? And I've been watching, watching the TV. Been glued to it. Mm -hmm. Daytime. Yeah. I've been what are watching, you watching the soaps. What are you watching? I know, right? I've been watching the soaps. I've been watching the daytime. I've been watching the game shows. I've been watching a little bit of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Did you even know that's still on? I know, but it's boring. Why? Because no, it's boring. it's not. It's boring. You know, I, mean, I would expect that from you. <laughs> I would expect that from you. You know what? I watched it this week on purpose. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why? Why? Just to reinforce my brilliance. <laughs> Did uh, you get some answers? Yeah. I got <laughs> tons of answers. I got up to, um, I was up, I was over 30,000. What? Yeah. But you're not a millionaire. She wasn't a millionaire. No. So I can't be a millionaire. <laughs> she brought you down. She brought me down. Right? You could have gone on and I could have kept going, on. right? That's all I was just waiting. And I'm like, serious? <laughs> Dear lady on the millionaire, this is as far as we get. We don't, we're stuck. She's like, I'll take the money. At $30,000? That's not even worth my no. time. No. Yeah. Terrible. So I don't know. It was like, but 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 it confirmed. This is how you spend your days yeah. off. Super smart I am. Yeah, we knew them all. I know, right? I knew. I'm like, she's like, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask the audience. Don't. I know it. What Ask about me. Jeopardy then? 
You what? Okay, I'm pretty smart. <laughs> no, you're I'm not. pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty good no, at Jeopardy. Not. Some things. No, the teen not. challenge, really good. The teen challenge. Oh, like, celebrity what? Jeopardy. That's celebrity yeah. Jeopardy. Yeah. Dumb it down. <laughs> Dumb it down from Saturday Night Live. Jeopardy, I'm really good at that. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, but some of the, like some of the Jeopardy questions, like if it's like like words ending with L, I'm good at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of them, not so much. <laughs> Uh-huh. But I'm smart. Okay. You are. So yeah. I heard you were struggling with a, a, a word. I was practicing my vocabulary. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because you know how there's like all those different words. There's like, there's like data or data or like, <laughs> data, data or data. <laughs> that's the same word. <laughs> well, because in my mind, that's right. the right way to say data. it. Caramel or caramel. Right. Caramel so that, or caramel. Car- yeah, like <laughs> I'm just <laughs> saying the same words exactly the same because way. Because that's how my mind hears it the same uh-huh. way. Right. Yeah. Okay. So then, so it was, you know, the Dasani water. Uh-huh. Dasani. Dasani. Yeah. How do you say it? Dasani. H H G. Dasani. It's not. It's D. Sani. Yes, it is. It's Dasani. I I, I, I YouTube it. <laughs> I know, but you got it backwards now. Did I get it backwards? <laughs> Did I really? Yeah. So, Dasani. Uh, how is this supposed to be said then? Oh, it's so confusing. Dasani. Dasani. Yeah, because then I was saying. Like, dissanitary napkin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, if I'm Italian and I'm introducing my friend Sam to you, I'm like, and this is Dasami. Right? Like, that. yeah, that's it. Right? That's, you got it. There no, I got go. it. I just have to keep top of mind. Dissanitary napkin. Dissanitary napkin. Right? And then you know how to say it. But yeah, don't you ever do that with words? No. Really? No. My kid sister and I do that all the time. I don't really have a problem with words, actually. Oh, I know, because you're like an English lady, and I'm all like, you're like a vocab snob. She reads all the books. She's a book reader. <laughs> I am a book That's reader. That's what she is. Okay, yeah. but you told me, though I did not see a picture, so mm-hmm. I feel like it's not really uh, real. Yes, yes, it's real. There's no holder for an Oreo cookie. Yes, there is. It was in the People magazine <laughs> on my <Yes>. Facebook. <laughs> so it must be <laughs> legit. On my Facebook. Has to be the legit. People, they want it. The People magazine. <laughs> They showed it. And what it is, they showed a mug with, like, some milk in it. Uh-huh. And then they have this little blue thing that attaches to the side of the mug. And it holds your Oreos for you dunkers. On the side of the mug. Yeah. So like it doesn't a, actually go inside the mug. No, you're not dunking, like, a, like, a like 25 not, like a cookies. Basketball yeah, yeah, like, yeah, your like, mug. Why do you It's not like cooking the deep fried french fries and it's going <laughs> into the... It's not, like, the basket's not going into the drink. Okay, but why do you need that? Because apparently people don't like to get their fingers dirty with the crumbs don't get it that's just lazy really yeah. and you don't think that that's society today no. like, remember, right? Keurig? I'm just like, saying. remember when we thought lazy in society was clap on clap off the copper oh, remember yeah. when we thought that that was super that's lazy yeah. right you lie in bed oh time clap to drop like clap on thanks <laughs> oh. that's funny yeah right that's but good. no yeah so so and it's like a little basket mm-hmm. it just sits it just cup like clips onto the side of the mug I'll get a picture. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you a picture. picture. I uh, don't see the point of no, that. I, well, no, I'm not no, saying there's no, any point. point. I don't see the oh. point of dunking. No, but no. you're not dunking this little basket in there, are you? No, you're not doing anything. It's just so, it's, I think it's like the process, right? So Holder. they're just being Take stored. Take it, dunk it. Take it, dunk it. Yeah. Wow. You said that you don't mind dunking. So you're getting like nasty, nasty okay. milk hands. So oh. do you get this plastic <laughs> thing inside of the Oreo cookie Goes on the bag? Outs- I like, how know. do you get it? Do you have to oh, buy I it separately? I, I didn't, Does it come as a prize? Is it in the bottom of a cereal box? I didn't read the article. <laughs> like, down I just saw the, the picture. Oreo! Oreo cookie holder that I have no use for, and I'll sell it at my garage sale. <laughs> yes, you I'm will. I'm just, what's the point? Like, if I'm going to pay extra money for it, I don't know. I want nothing to do I with it. I didn't read the article. If it comes free in the bag, like a prize in a cereal box? I just box, saw the picture. All for it. I just saw the picture, guys. Okay. okay. I just, just saw saying. the picture. I want to see the picture. I think you have to buy it. I think no. you have to buy it. Not, my, not worth my time. No? Not worth Where do you time. hold the Oreos? You Maybe you can get your hands. It's a gift with purchase. You know, like Jell-O <laughs> has a small <laughs> gift with purchase. That's kind of true, Christmas. eh? Yeah, right. that's it. That's kind of true. You know, like you go to the liquor store and you buy, you, buy the, you buy the 40 of whiskey and they got like the little one attached to the yeah. neck of it? That's, a good that's for why you buy home. the 40 that's, of whiskey that's for the little guy attached to it. That's so weird, eh? Like just the little thing. It's like, you know what? I need a little shot before I get home. Off so I go. Right? That's why you're buying the good stuff, right? That's why you're paying the big bucks right there. Oh, my God. Right there. Yeah. Okay, so sense. you're back on your Joe Louis cake oh, again? Oh, I am, like, going to be a house. I'm <laughs> going to be a house. I am, like, eating those Joe Louis like there's nobody's business. I love them. Because, okay, you know what? Here's the thing. Do you even understand what they are? No. It's like a cake. You don't? No, no really. I've never had one. Okay, so it's it's a chocolate cake with a yummy little frosting filling and chocolate on the outside. Mm. Yeah, so it's uh-huh. like a whoopie pie. That sounds like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 
fart. <laughs> it's like a whoopie pie. I don't know what a whoopie pie is. Don't use that word. That word is dirty. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> yeah, not. That word is dirty. Oh, my God. That word is gross and dirty. <laughs> really? I don't like that word. Yeah, whoopie. Oh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't like that. that. No, I don't know what I don't know what that is, so no, I don't think it's like that at all. So basically, Joe Louis have gone back on your snack-approved list? Yeah, I, yeah, I brought mm, them back. Okay. Yeah, I brought them back. Uh, wagon wheels? I was going to say. Kicked them to the curb. Really? Yeah, I'm oh, done with them. So quickly. You know why? Can I, okay, can I share? Since we've outed me a few weeks ago with my fake teeth, what happens is that the chocolate on the wagon wheel sticks to my teeth, I find. It's a little waxy. It's a little waxy. Right? I think you put more wax. Right? More it's a little wax waxy. The wagon wheels yeah. Nowadays. yeah. And so I find that, I find that it seems to stick around a little bit longer than what I okay. prefer. That's just worse. Yeah. But okay, here's something weird that's happening. Hmm. Anybody else find this? On my Facebook, and I don't know if it's like channeling my inner 80s kid or whatever, I keep getting pop-ups for the Swatch Watch. Woo! Swatch watch. Swatch watch. That's like the 1980s. Swatch watch is back. I know what's back, and it's on my Facebook page <laughs> every time. But there, ha- but Samantha, there's fancy ones. There's fancy swatches. No. Yeah. Really? Well, I don't know. Probably still the same rubber, but they look fancy. Yeah. Are you gonna get one? Oh, you know. Are you what? picking your $14 watch to the curb? No, because I just spent like. Fifteen dollars to get a battery. battery. <laughs> Not too long ago. So shameful. Yeah, so shameful, right? <laughs> and I'll take the battery oh. that's worth more than the watch for one hundred, Alex. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I don't know. I'm yeah. tempted though. Every time I see it, I'm like, mm. Mm. but then I'm like, what happens if you get it and the and the swatch is still as like it was fine in the '80s. It was cheesy. But what if it's like super cheesy in like 2018? At, it will be. Everything at 49. Cheesy. Yeah, right. I think everything cheesy is coming back again. You think it's coming back? Yeah. So the making... 70s have come back. The 80s have come yeah. back. There's like neon and tie-dye shit everywhere. But now. I love mm-hmm. tie-dye, though. Bring me the tie-dye. I love tie-dye. Yeah. I do you really have your own do. tie-dye kit? No, I don't, because I'm not crafty. Oh. Right? I'm not crafty Let's that way. Let's go to Walmart and get the tie-dye and the bananas. Maybe <laughs> not the bananas. Not the bananas. I'm not doing it, Okay. Man. I'm done watching the Chicago's. Really? Oh, yeah. You know why they they've, they've ruined it for me. Yeah. Oh, because they've cause they, because they because they've sandwiched, sandwiched yes. Chicago Fire in there. Yeah, it's like a bad sandwich. It's like a snooze fest. I'm done by the time I get through Chicago Fire, and I'm like, now I gotta watch PD. I have no choice. <laughs> so you're good from so you're good seven to eight with Chicago Med. You're yeah, good. I'm fine. Then you become a cranky hot mess. Yes. From eight, <laughs> eight to, to nine, nine, and then nine to ten. Because I'm good like, again. why am I watching this I crap? Because they but they I'm lure waiting you. for the Chicago PD, yeah. which I give a shit about. Which, by the way, I'm almost gonna kick to the curb why? if they don't start getting their shit together. Really? I don't want to watch the crack hoe get laid by a policeman anymore. I did. I'm I don't, tune in. I don't, tune in. <laughs> tune in. I don't tune want in to the crack hoe get laid. I don't want to see a gang leader get shot. Boom, boom, double in the chest. Wow. I don't want to see it. But that's what it's about. I want a little humor in my life. Not in the Chicago. There's no humor <laughs> There's no in the humor Chicago. In Chicago. <laughs> the Chicago's got no humor. Just like the This Is Us, it got no tears this season. There's that's because you haven't watched it from the beginning. I know that's you your, have to get uh, invested. You have to learn about the people. I feel I know them. I feel I know them. You don't. I feel I know so them well, and I just know. not. You don't know them. You don't. Oh. You don't know them. <laughs> They don't know themselves, so how can you possibly That's know them? That's point too, right? Right? Yeah. Every, and they're always... Every they, time, every yeah. every episode. They're they old, learn, they're young. They're old, they're, they're young. young. Who are these They're people? learning about themselves. They don't know. It's confusing. So how can you possibly know good point. partway into the third season when you haven't watched one or two? Yeah. I it's, just know... That's mm. shameful. We're coming over. We're going to have a marathon. <laughs> we're going to have a marathon. <laughs> Sorry. And we're just going to cry. Your husband gonna works be, nice. Yeah, I am does. not right. watching this The three of us could be on the couch. I do not need The middle person holds the Kleenex box. And we just try and cry. That's right. We just cry it out, friends. <laughs> cry it out. First That's one to cry. Team. First one to cry. Oh, that's me. <laughs> She's going to start crying. Oh, right? We're going to watch it. They're coming oh, over. No, crying. Oh, you guys are going to love the pilot episode. Right? Exactly. Wait. I cannot wait. No. Okay. okay. No. So, yeah. So, no, no. No. I agree with the Chicago's. Let's make this the last year for the one. Yeah, let's. Okay. You don't even watch the I Chicago's. Never no, you have <laughs> <laughs> She, like, goes to the beat of her own drama when it comes to shows, right? <laughs> what did I watch last night? <sighs> Throw Mama from the Train. Right? She's watching, like, old oh, movies. That's oh, a good movie, yeah. though. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. And That's the Blacklist is coming on Friday nights. Ugh. I don't want to get into it, because it's going to be with the bones. No. You and don't know I, anything and, about and the bones. And then I'm going to feel I have to start explaining it to and you they, again. And they killed off Tom. And so you know what? Do it's, we care? Mm. He's on a new show. He's on a new show. <laughs> yeah. And but he's you, dying. But, uh, so that's good for the what show. I, what I don't care about is I don't know if I care about having to every Friday night now have to explain to you what went on. It's fine on Thursday nights to explain it. TV to you. You don't Friday know night, what's uh, going on. By the end of the week, I don't. just don't. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. start. You, you have so many know either. Friday night plans, too. Right? Yes. You don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I don't I have, have time, no time to work explaining the TV show into Sam. 
I can't do that. Really? Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. It's not till January. We yeah, still have some whatever. time. Whatever. We still have some time. What? Do you have a problem with your email again? It's my spam. I think I'm getting weird shit from your Yahoo account again. <laughs> Sometimes it just does it. Are you getting porn? Am I sending you porn? <laughs> no, that was your boss. That was my boss. I sent my old <laughs> boss porn. <laughs> so weird she's like did you mean to send this and i clicked it i'm like whoa and you said yes i did yes i did uh, i meant to send you two to two day. horned up girls right? <laughs> just you know mind you of anybody oh my god <laughs> brenda can you hear me <laughs> no really but it's weird right? yeah You're still getting yeah. all that weird uh-huh. stuff I, yeah mm-hmm. never got that ever do you check i don't spam? know why do you check oh spam? i don't think i have spam why don't you have spam i don't know i always said like spam. spork <laughs> so, i don't even know what's <laughs> No. no, but guess, but here's the, here's the, here's the upside to the spam. Guess who, guess who's next of kin just left them $550,000. You. you. Mine did. Woo. Mine did. Do you know who they're talking about? Michael Melton. <laughs> right? Oh, you talk about him all the time. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know if he's my cousin or he's my uncle. I don't know. But if Probably he's, both. but if he's got 550, <laughs> <laughs> but if he's got $550,000 with my name on it. Hello. He can be whatever he wants You're to be. You're going he to can... Nigeria to get that I money. I am. I'm going to look at the flights over the weekend. That's right. There you go. I'm just saying. I hate my spam. I hate it. So uh-huh. Yahoo. Yahoo. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Boot a problem. Yahoo. Yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. One of your people turned, had a birthday. Hey? My prince. Prince Charles. Uh-huh. Turned 70. Uh-huh. He's never going to be king. Yes, he will be king. No. As He'll much... be in adult diapers and eating, like, applesauce by the time he gets to yeah, be king. Yeah, his biggest decision will be pudding or jello. <laughs> I'm going to pick pudding. Right? Charles, what do you pick? One nod, pudding. Two nods, jello. It's always just going to be one nod. It's going it, to... Who's, who's, who's got the energy for two nods? No, if you could just pick one. Yeah. Right? One. Just one. That's good. Yeah. He's never going to be king. He will, but not for a long time, I hope. I hope. That's going to be a sad day. Oh, like, that day is going to wreck my she world. Now? She's like 93. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And going nowhere. No, going she's nowhere. Going nowhere. Healthy as a horse. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you'd be healthy too. Well, you know my husband's theory, right? Somebody wipes your ass for you. They don't have a royal ass wiper anymore. It's so old school. Anymore. <laughs> right? So old. Maybe when she first started, maybe somebody wiped her ass. Oh, I don't know. Sure. Right? Yes. Remember the royal bra fitter? Remember that that, oh, that that's, told all the yes. secrets? Yes. And she was like banished from the kingdom. And you should be. And so you should. Don't talk about Liz's no. boobs. No. Those are boobies. That's wrong. And now she's old, right? Don't yes. talk about old ladies' boobies. No. no. That's nasty. Okay. Yeah. So we heard you complain about Christmas music. Yep. I'm but apparently you got some something up your ass about flav- flavored candy cane. First off, nothing's up my ass. I'm just saying. I don't like that phrase. I don't care. Okay? You know I don't care. I know you don't care. That's your new thing. And 50, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just saying it like I'm I see 50, I don't care. Right? I'm, I'm 50. 50 years old. No. I don't care. I don't care. Just wait. <laughs> oh, right. No. Just wait right? a week, Michelle. <laughs> wait a week. And then I'm going to have to deal with two people not caring. Yes. Oh, it's going to be so hard for I'm me sorry. for the next seven months. Yeah. It's not. It okay. Flavored candy canes. I don't get them. Just make. Remember when candy canes were just peppermint? Yes. Bubble gum was just gum. That's my issue. Mm-hmm. Right now they make a bubble gum candy cane. Yes. They make. On Jimmy Fallon they had macaroni and cheese flavored. No. Yuck. Yuck. Mm. Right? It should just be peppermint. Just Cinnamon, be a peppermint. Blueberry. No, that's you. Okay, that's me. That was you all last winter. All she had like, <laughs> oh look at that. Go, every time she go to Can get you a coffee. Take a red one that you think is peppermint, <laughs> and it's actually strawberry. Yeah, and there was do? a couple of cherry. I'm like. Ugh. <laughs> I Wait, put it right in the garbage, eh? I just, that was And then I dig it out and I just eat it. <laughs> oh, gross. Waste, not want, not. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes, no wasting. That's gross. I'm just saying. That's but you my... seem to be having problems with foods lately. Me and foods aren't getting along. Yeah. Right? Because you not have problems along. with donuts now. I don't have problems. I love a donut. I know that. Right? But you were complaining about it. No, I'm not complaining about the donuts, man. That thanks for listening. What I'm complaining <laughs> about, hi. God. Lisa. Lisa. Samantha, Lisa, listen, have you heard listen, you? Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, Samantha, listen. Whatever. My issue is with the donut shops, because so in Canada uh-huh. we have Tim Hortons. Uh-huh. Why? Why can't I get the same donuts at every Tim Hortons? The Tim Hortons at the hospital. Because they're not all run by the same person. But guess what, guys? Make them good. Make them all good. <laughs> can't we just make them all good? Okay. So what's good to you? Okay. First off, the one at the hospital is good to me. 
And I get that it should be a really good one, right? Because there's sick people there, mm -hmm. right? But they make the best sprinkled donuts, Samantha. And everybody, if you had any idea just how much joy sprinkled donuts put in my heart, like I just love a sprinkled donut so much because you know what? It's not your norm. No. Right? So no. so this week, right, there was a yellow sprinkle donut. And it was like the sun. Yellow and white. It was like the sun. So it was cheery. Yeah. At Halloween, they have like a one with the orange and the black. Uh -huh. Christmas, they do a rider donut. It's just like so exciting. You go there and oh, wonder what the sprinkle donut's going to be. And you're just excited, <laughs> right? Because uh -huh. there they are. Then you go to my donut shop at the TCU. <laughs> there's not even a friggin' donut. There's not a donut there's in not there. A I'm donut. Not <laughs> to be there's, honest, oh, there's an old-fashioned plane. Like, how much <laughs> traffic do they really get though? They get a lot. They, that's why there's no donuts. That's why there's no donuts. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 They get a lot there because huh. because nobody wants to walk to the food court, right? It's too oh, far, right? Okay. But the problem is, is why can't there be some, some consistency in the donut shops? Standardized yeah. donut. Yes. Shops. Shops. All the same. Yes. All the time. Yeah. So your basics, yeah. and then they can go fluffy. Yeah. However they want. Well, is like that not, what you're saying? No, like not too crazy. So do you want basic donuts or do you want your sprinkled donut every time you want a sprinkled donut? I want there always to be one choice for a sprinkled donut every day. Because <laughs> if there was one choice for a sprinkled donut every day, I would have it every day. Every day I'd be like, and I'll take a sprinkled donut. And then they'd see me coming, they'd be like, sprinkled, sprinkled donut? donut? I'd be like, I do one of these. <laughs> right? I can't do that very good, right? But I would do oh one. I'd be like, I'd do, I'd do this. You know it. That'd be my new thing. <laughs> you know it. Sprinkle donut. Okay, let's do a leather Tuscadero thing and okay. go. <laughs> sprinkle donut. Yeah. Right? Try it, guys. Try oh the sprinkle donuts. It just makes your heart happy. I right? will try it. Okay. And your yeah. sugar spike. <laughs> your sugar spike. Right? Donut. Yeah. Yeah. Donut for breakfast. So, yeah. okay. But, 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 so it's not the donuts, but here's my thing. Okay. My favorite part about the donut, my whole all-time favorite thing, is because you can eat it as a sugary breakfast item and nobody bats an eye. Nobody, nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a nobody shit. Nobody gives a right? shit. Nobody ever goes up to you and says, really? Did you need a donut for breakfast, Samantha? Yes, I did, actually. Nobody's ever even going to ask that because, of course, you did. That's why there's donut shops, right? And they're open 24-7. All, yeah, all the time. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. so that's the best part. Of donuts is that you can eat them in the morning, mm -hmm. right? Because you get poo pooed if you eat cake. <laughs> poo pooed, poo pooed. People are like they like they like like look down at you, right? Oh, cake in the morning, right? Oh, did you? Right? Yeah, exactly. Even, even just how you just said that, even like, cake in the morning, yeah. And then they teach you the yeah. like, cake, no. right? So donut. okay, but there are a double dip chocolate donut. But different. there are cake donuts because there's yeast donuts and cake donuts. Okay, but here's the thing. I'm just saying. Okay, but I, you know what I really like? I really like the grocery store donuts. Remember when we worked at Pennington's? Remember when we would get like grocery store donuts sometimes as a treat? That's like the sugary, just the, mm, the cinnamon mm, sugar or like the icing no, sugar yeah, donuts, just the, the mini milk. ones. Yeah, no, 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 no. The, the regular ones. size, the, regular the big size. girl ones, the big girl. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want those. I yeah. want an adult size donut. Yeah. Thanks. Not a baby I'm donut. Good. <laughs> That's so true, right? Yeah, right. Baby, do 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 donut, do <laughs> <laughs> donut, like that. No. Yeah. No. no. No, no. So I dress as a Timbit and they get no. like, baby, donut, no, no, <laughs> no. Yes. They want no part of that? Yes, no. we're doing that tomorrow. I want no part of that. <laughs> That's our game tomorrow at work. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. But I don't know. And then you know what? I just like to, and then what I love about a donut shop is I like to be able to see them. I like to see them all there. Uh -huh. yeah. And then just give them a little squeeze. Oh, if I could squeeze oh, the donuts, could squeeze eh? Donuts. It would be so good. It's it's like, Seriously? Yeah, for sure. Oh, my God. Because it's like a just bread. Just a little bit. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little squeeze. Just a little, just a squeeze. little squeeze. Just to get that. Let me touch your donut. No, I, I'm a touch. <laughs> just let me touch. I want to touch. Okay, but do you have, what's your favorite donut? You, Sam. I Samantha. like a Boston cream, actually. Do you? Yeah. HHG? I like protein donuts. Yes, no, you which don't. Just eat. Eat. Ew, you're don't. eating them because you're on a protein diet. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so right now you, you like freak. that. My favorite is I love old fashioned sugar. Yes, Ooh. you do. Okay, this is, and anything sprinkle. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I love a Dutchie, but Dutchies only come around every now and then. Is that that's with true. the apples in it? No, that's a fritter. That's oh. a fritter. No, it's yeah. not. Dutchie has a raisin in it. It <laughs> oh. has raisins in it. Mm. Yeah. Disgusting. Similar. No, oh, they're sorry. not. They're yes. like... Yes. They're not. But they yes. come around only every now and then, kind of like the McRib. No. Right? <laughs> Which is never going to make it. No. Well, no. I Never going to make that. an appearance. But, um, but, yeah. But remember when people eating donuts, remember people used to think they were lazy people? It was just like sloppy because you ate donuts. 
You ever Everybody eats donuts now. No, now it's trendy. It's very trendy. It's trendy. <laughs> who knew? Well, because there's like fancy donut shops in this town. And who knew Saskatoon was all about fancy donuts? Well, because there's like protein donuts. Yeah. Yes. Sweet tooth donuts. Sweet tooth donuts. Dark side donuts. That's Dark like near me. Donuts. That's like a five dollar donut. Well, so yours is five dollar yeah. donut. Yeah. That's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot, lot of money that's for a, a donut. For but do you really think it is? Yes. yes. But. <laughs> But yet you'll pay, like you'll still pay seven dollars to get a coffee and an egg McMuffin. Yes, that's but way more than that's it. That's way what, better. Did you see how little that donut was. Yeah, but do you see the joy that that donut can bring? Yeah, especially when you're on a piggy pup diet. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So you need to embrace those donuts, okay. my friend. Yeah. So I did a little research. Uh oh. I decided to school you on donuts. I'm Ooh. so excited. I took Canada and I took America. America. Because America, America lives on Duncan. Well, they they Krispy Kremes. <laughs> oh, I didn't do Krispy Kremes. <gasps> Couldn't remember Have you ever it. Had one? Oh, yes. A yeah? whole new level. Oh, really? A whole new level. We're wow. going up here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, hey? oh, they're so good. Really? Oh. I've never had a Krispy Kreme. Neither have I. What? Uh, oh, I've never uh, had a Dunkin' I'll Donut either. No, neither have I. No. No. Yeah. No. No. Really? No. Yeah. But Tim's, here's the top five. Okay. Okay? At Tim's, Honey Cruller. Who picks oh, that? I like honey crullers. Ew, it no. tastes like it's not cooked. No, I like Every them. time we get, remember whenever we order Timbits, what I always say, not the cruller ones. <laughs> right? Because it just tastes like it's not cooked. Uh-huh. Um, sour cream glazed. Yes. Yeah. I don't mind. Those are okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, Boston cream. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. That's me. I don't like that one. Um, Canadian maple. That's mm. yummy. No. I like no. that one. And chocolate dip. Boring. That's Canada. Mm-hmm. Top five. Really? Top five in America. 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 Glazed. I guess that's like honey dip. I guess. Right? You're basic. Chocolate glazed. Woo! I don't know what that is. I don't get that one. Here's one I'd never even heard of. Bow tie. What's a bow tie? I think it's like a long john, maybe. Yeah, I think it's a long... Actually, I think I she's think it right. Is. It's like a long john? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't know. Boston cream. Okay. And then they go... And then they round it off with cruller. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Weird, hey? Huh. So kind of similar. 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 Yeah. A little similar. bit. Similar. It's not similar. Uh-huh. Yeah. I got some fun facts. Of course you do. I love donuts, <laughs> hey? I just love donuts so much. Yes, you do. You want to know? Sure. Yes. Okay, just five quick ones, guys. Go, I know. Go, I know go. we're waiting for the. I know. I know we're waiting because I go. We got our. We got our guests waiting with us. Yes. I know. Okay, but they like. But they like donuts. They like donuts too. <laughs> they like donuts okay. too. Okay. Over ten billion are made yearly in the U.S. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. It's a lot of donuts. Do you know that in Canada, Canada has the most donut shops per capita of in course. any other country in the world? Because there's a Tim on every corner. Yes, there is. Two, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty so, corner from right? each other. Hey, so this one's busy. You can just cross that. <laughs> as of 2011, 10 people have the, have donut as a last name. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. How That's does that weird. happen? How do, you just <laughs> no. know, how do new last names just happen? Uh-huh. Sammy Donut. Sammy Donut. Donut. It's got a good, good rhyme to donut. it. Donut. Oh. 1933, Chicago World Fair declared donuts to be the hit food of the century. Whoa. Uh-huh. Woo. Right? And here's an important day. <laughs> here's an important day to remember. January 12th, National Glazed Donut Day. Oh, Everybody January have a donut. 12th. Everybody have a donut. A glazed donut. Right after Christmas, Woo. that's what you need. All right. I'm done with the donuts. <gasps> okay. I'm donated it. Well, that's good because you know what? It's been a long year. It's been a long year. For it's been a really long year. Yeah, and we've you know got what? to introduce the guys again. The guys got to come back. Well, because it's November. It's Movember. It's Movember. So they're growing their mows. Yeah. <laughs> Have they grown their mows all year? We don't know yet. You're going to find out, friends, the podcast. Sure. So last year, we we, we, we introduced our inner dudes, <clears throat> mm-hmm. right? John and Steve. Steve and John. Steve and John. <laughs> John and Steve. I shake my head with John and Steve. Right? I shake my head with Steve and John. It's not as John and Steve. <laughs> And uh, you know what? We've learned lots about them. Yes, we have. So we just thought that Movember made a lot of sense to kind of catch up, see how they've been. Bring them back. See, yeah, bring them, bring them back. Bring them back. Bring but them back. But we have an, a guest as well. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so- sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Do we want to explain the guest first? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, the guest uh, is... A pain in the ass. The inner dude sorry. of the HHG. Hello, it's HHG's Ricky. inner dude. Hello, yeah. Ricky Bobby. And how old's no, Ricky? <laughs> and how old's Ricky? I'm 14. <laughs> I'm a 14 year old boy, and I love it. <laughs> that's what she said. Because <laughs> that's what he says yeah, all right. the time. Oh, yeah. Look at my mustache. <laughs> 
Can you see it? Can you see it? How about now? No, I see a pimple. Because you're 14. Because <laughs> right. you're 14. I don't see a mustache yet, Ricky. It's coming. It's coming. Right? I can feel it. That's funny. So, Samantha, <laughs> what's new with Steve? <laughs> Steve? Well, he's been doing okay. Has he, has he had yeah. a good year? He's had a good, good. year. Business is good. Business is good. Yep. Body good. shop yeah. and the garage is doing good. Good. Flourishing. Flourishing. Good to hear. He's still racing cars at the the Wyant Speedway. Oh. Can I drive? No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, <tell> Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I tell you, if I could like, mm, if I could parent back in the 70s, <laughs> Ricky Bobby would be in. He'd meet, be in a lot of trouble. Meet my hand, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve still single. Oh, still. But open to the experience. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Oh, bought a new condo. Oh, yeah. 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 Busy. Busy. Yeah. He's been doing a little renovation because he's a handy oh. kind of guy. And you bought the condo from me. Thank you. Because John is a real <laughs> oh, estate dude. That's right. I appreciate that, right? <laughs> I, too, got a new car because of that. Thanks. That's what friends do. <laughs> right? They help each other. Yeah. Right? Um, he has been looking after himself, so he's oh, working out. He's good. Doing, you know, because he's turning 36. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he's getting up there. <laughs> getting up there. Right? He's yeah. almost 40. So he's younger. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. a few pounds. Is he, was he, was he, was he he's been snacking, eating he's a little poorly? Yeah, he's trying to do the keto diet. Oh. oh okay. Gotcha. 14-year-olds don't need to start that. No. No. <laughs> No, I know a 14 year old that just, just like eats like, like we're going out, like, like there's never going to be food again. That's what I seem to find with 14 year olds. Oh right? Um, he is, uh, he's actually going to pick up a new, a new thing. He's never skied before. So he wants skiing. to learn how to ski. He's going skiing. In I can do ya. <laughs> Thanks Ricky Bobby, but I don't think so. He's going skiing in Saskatchewan. He's going, no, he's not. He's going to go to Banff. In the new year. Oh, okay. He's going to learn how to ski. Just he, he just wants to learn how to ski. Who's he going with? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's me. No. No. Because John doesn't do John that. doesn't ski. He's not sporty. <laughs> he's sporty, but he's like, but he's a little lazy. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> and actually, uh, he's restoring a 1947 Chevy truck. Ooh. Yeah. So he's pretty excited about that. Wow. Still has the Camaro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. But big, big thing happened for him this tell, year. Tell me. Well, you know, he decided that. He wasn't going to have kids. Oh. But he didn't mind kids. Did he get a vasectomy? No. <laughs> oh. He didn't get snip snip? No, he didn't get snip snip. didn't get castrized? No. Cast- is it with castrization? Is that what they do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm being a 14-year-old boy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he decided boy. to be a big brother. I know. So To join John. the big brother yes, we association. Don't. Okay. And he dragged John into it. Yes. Can I... Can you, now let me share a bit about John. Okay. Okay? Because okay. John, too, has had some new things. And then we'll move into where Ricky Bobby fits in, friends. All right. Okay. So John's up his wardrobe. He's got because he wears a suit, right? Because he's a real estate guy. Yes. He loves pale blue and the dark gray combo. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new thing, right? Oh my god. Pale blue and the dark gray. Uh huh. Right? He's uh he's wearing his hair a little longer. What is he a hippie? No, he's not a hippie, but he just he because he's got a little bit of a curl, a little bit of a wave. Oh yeah. So he's got like thick locks. So, so he's going yeah, into like the poofy look. He's doing the poofy <laughs> look. He's going the poofy look. Yeah, so he's done that. Um, this is big news. Can't believe I'm going to share it. Wait for it. He's moved from boxers to boxer briefs. Ooh. Do you know why? Why? He feels he needs a little more support. Oh. Right? <laughs> he feels the boxer briefs are giving him a little bit more support. Really? Yeah, so he's done that. Because his junk's getting old. His junk's not good. His junk's ready <laughs> to get junked. Right? His junk's <laughs> raring to go that's the problem right? he too no girlfriend right but he did uh, he did try speed dating oh yeah this year really for him his overall theme was was uh, not his thing a lot of he did he tried a lot of new things not his thing so he tried speed dating not his thing so your inner dude is very like you then <laughs> very much like me um he tried drinking fancy coffees not his thing yeah. right so very much like you yeah. yeah he tried getting a manicure not his thing <laughs> Right, because he wants to be more metro. Uh huh. Right, he wants yeah. to be. He wants to be. I picture my inner dude. He wants to be like my brother-in-law Steph. Uh huh. Right, like he wants to get a massage. Yeah. And he wants to drink fancy coffee. Uh huh. Right, because Steph is very metro. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, and it works for him completely. Uh huh. But didn't doesn't work for my inner dude. Uh-huh. He's not that guy. But here's something new. He's manscaping. Ooh. He saw on the Shark Tank they had they had an episode where uh, you could buy a manscaping kit. Mm-hmm. Do you know Robert yeah. Manscapes? Yeah. Did you see that? No. He's the only one. Really? The only manscaping guy. Really? Yeah. Oh. Dudes. 
just get saying. the kid, get the kid. <laughs> Right? And don't let it get dusty. <laughs> don't let it get dusty. Thanks, Ricky Bobby. You're welcome. I'm learning. I'm learning. You're, you're learning quickly. Well, you know, that's one of the things that we've taught Ricky Bobby. Oh, because we've been teaching Steve them. and John, they've they've been very so we joined. On. Yeah, so Steve and John, they decided because because they're not involved and they like kids, but they don't want kids. But then they saw this one kid, Which is very much like us, very much like <laughs> us, very similar. They saw this one kid and they had a little <laughs> soft spot for the one kid. Well, because he went trick or treating <laughs> with no costume. Yeah, and I right? was, I was and just I, hungry. <laughs> yeah, and Steve answered the door and yeah. he's like. Hi. Yeah. And his kid's like, I need candy. Yeah. John doesn't do Halloween. John just keeps the lights out. But yeah. he told me about it. Yeah. He told so, John about and it. And this, we felt, Steve felt bad for him. Yeah. So, Steve's got a good heart. Steve's got a good heart. John, a little bit of a black heart. <laughs> John DFC a little bit more than Steve, yeah. which is different than us. Yeah. Right? So Steve's like, this kid needs some, like, he needs some direction. He oh needs God. help. I need lots. Right? I need lots. And a spank. <laughs> Right. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll skip the spank. <laughs> or is that something else? <laughs> what are we talking you're about? You're too here? young. You're no, too young. No, no that's you? gross. You're, you're, you're too young to want to spank. Okay. <laughs> that's I don't gross. know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Man. Yeah. But so, yeah. So that's Steve what, talked John into joining Big Brothers. Because that's what dudes do. And, you know, Steve's like, hey, you know what? I think I, I know this one kid. He, I think he needs help. And. It's Ricky Bobby. It's, it's Ricky Bobby. It's Ricky Bobby. I, I don't think you can help him. A horny 14-year-old kid. Uh-huh. He right? can help me. Right? He can't be helped. <laughs> he can't. He's, I got problems. Because right? we're, we're trying to teach I'm him. I'm just to waiting be... for the phone to ring and say, you know what? He's in jail. Of course he is. He, tried, he didn't mean to steal the car. He just stole the car. I know he did. Right? You, you need to phone Steve. You need to stop phone. telling us about your childhood. <laughs> Good point, hey? Good point, right? Nobody needs to know your dirty laundry. <laughs> Fair enough, Samantha. Which, by the way, she likes to do laundry. So yes, she likes to do the laundry. Tide, little drink, little drink of wine. Shoot him back with the tide. <laughs> you know, and because Steve and John are like guy guys, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They, yeah. They're both, you know, pretty good guys. They scratch their balls. They scratch their balls. They scratch their balls. They're teaching Ricky Bobby how to scratch, right? How am I doing? How am I doing? <laughs> Look, but, how am I doing? <laughs> not in public. Oh, you guys, you aren't teaching me anything. Not in public. Not in public. Oh, well, and hard. even though... I've been doing it all day. Your hand's going to get hairy. <laughs> right? Uh, even... Th- Yo. And Bad even, enough, it's already sweaty. Sweaty hand. Sweaty got, hairy hand. You got sweaty palms for a reason. So, you know, even though, you know, Ricky Bobby needs some help... <laughs> They think he has potential. Yes, they do. Right? Yes. So they're just trying to teach him a few maybe things. Maybe not a lot, but he's got some. So may, they feel like maybe Ricky Bobby needs some confidence. He needs, yes, he needs some confidence. So we're teaching him how to box. Uh, yes, yes. And throw a good throw punch. Well, that's more you. That's more Steve's more that. That's Steve's more that guy. Right? you got to be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> right? Got to be ready. Right? John's trying to teach him to enjoy a good football game on the TV. Oh, yeah. Right? Put your, that's exciting. Put the, put the phone down and the riders are playing. Ricky Bobby can't afford a phone. But he, but I you got... You guys get me a phone? Yes. You guys have extras. You yes. know, we both have new phones. Right? We have new phones. <laughs> can I have your old phones? Yes, maybe. Right? And can you get me a plan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On, on Steve's plan. Feel free. Right? You go on Steve's plan. <laughs> nope. We're trying to teach him the basics. Well, we're trying to teach him life skills. Yeah. Like... How to deal with a boner in public. Oh, he just, dude and just what walks do around I do, with a boner. Guys? You leave it alone. You hide it. You hide it. How do I hide it? Oh, <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, my goodness. Think about baseball. All the, think about baseball. Well, hey, like that baseball. gives me a boner. <laughs> oh, gross. Uh, put, it, put it back in, John. Put it back, put it back, in, back in. Right? Keep Blah. it clean. Keep it clean. Yes. Right? Okay, well, what do you... I have to keep it clean, too? <laughs> And yes. you have to keep it clean. Try not to have a boner in public. Yes. You got to keep it clean. Got to keep Scratch it clean. You got to wrap it up. Scratch in private. Wrap oh, it up. So many rules. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Right? But Ricky Bobby. But you're too young to be using it. Yeah. So you don't need to wrap it no. up yet. Yes. But I might but, like it. But yes, you might. No, <laughs> you will like it. Well, he's been taking long showers. <laughs> got to get, gotta gotta get it, clean. Got to get clean, right? This body ain't going to clean itself. <laughs> no, right? So he is, he is long showers, eh? 
Yeah, they said that at the group home, too. Yes, right? <laughs> they said. stay in the shower until the water gets cold, right? Okay. Yeah. That's what they said. They said, yeah, they, they, they're concerned about his showering. Uh-huh. I'm like, well, isn't it better that the dude's clean? Yes. Right? Dude, stay clean. But he does have a bit of a criminal past, though. Well, he has the potential to be a badass, right? <laughs> He's bad. So. Right? He Ricky, smokes. Every now and then he smokes. Oh, just a Ricky, little bit. Don't <laughs> smoke. Oh, and pot's well, legal now. Oh, but not for 14. Oh, right. Not for 14. Well, I, mm, I just get it not at high school. For, not if for I go 14. to high school. Yeah. No. Sometimes. No. Sometimes. I but I life. think the biggest thing that, that, that the dudes have learned this year is I think the dudes have learned a little patience. Because of Ricky? Well, I don't know about because of Ricky, but yes. just in general. You think because of you? Yes. <laughs> I, think, I think just in general. Just in general. Yeah, I think in general. Patience. Oh. That's what they've been trying to learn is a little patience. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. John felt it was necessary. Really? Yeah. Because sometimes he gets a little high strung, right? He wants to pull out his hair. And he's got a full <laughs> head of hair. And a goatee. He's, he's kept the goatee. Because you know what? He went on a date and one of the girls said, oh, I like that. Not his girlfriend anymore. <laughs> and he's speed dating. But, and and during 30 speed seconds. Dating. Oh, I like that. Bye. <laughs> and so he's kept it. He's all about a goatee now. That and the manscaping. <laughs> that and the manscaping. Yeah. And he loves a good lip balm. <laughs> Uh, he loves a good. He loves a good chapstick. Right? <laughs> just saying. And just Steve some... still likes a good self-help book. <laughs> right? See, and Steve needs the help. I might need those books. <laughs> Steve's you gonna pass them my... down. Hey, big brother. Steve's gonna pass them down. Thank you. Steve's gonna pass them down. That's funny. Right, Samantha? The guys, they've been very busy. We'll see how they do. Hopefully, Ricky Bobby doesn't get him into trouble well hopefully they can keep ricky bobby on on the straight and narrow and he can grow up to be a good young man i right? don't know it's right? gonna be tough like hulk hogan would say right say your prayers and take your vitamins right, <laughs> right? that's what needs to be done here oh my god that's what needs to be done all right well in honor of movember movember i wanted us to you know talk about what men want women to to know. Oh, okay, okay. Right, because okay. it's November is about men. So I may, I may every now and then switch out of November mode and just go into woman mode. <laughs> okay, because I don't know if I'm going to agree with all of it, <laughs> but I'm going to try my best. Okay, men want us to know. They want to be told they're attractive. Really? Yeah. Mm. Do you think they care? Yes, you they think care. Men care. This is me as a woman. Do you think they care? I think they care. Really? Yeah. Like they want like sweet nothings whispered like oh you look so good. No, they just want to say oh you look good today. Aww. Your hair is pretty. Really, this is a lot of work already. <laughs> a lot of work, work already. <laughs> right? They're so needy. They're so needy. They're so needy. <sighs> okay. They want to get out asked out on a date once in a while. Yeah, good luck with that. I tell my husband every time. Good luck. Find a date. <laughs> Have a date. Are you looking for a date? I can find you a date. Oh my god. Right? Oh my god. The two married the good two luck. Mar- the two married bitter women have just stepped into the podcast. <laughs> okay, and they'd like to get complimented. Yes. I can see that. And I compliment Mike all the time, like, thank you for doing the laundry. <laughs> thank you for getting the groceries. Thank you for getting the bananas. Thank, thank you for getting, getting the bananas. bananas. The gross ones from Walmart. Right? Thank you for not noticing that I'm dumping the milk out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. They would like us. Uh, they would like us to start the conversation sometimes. Okay, that is bullshit right now. I'm done with that. That is BS. I start the conversation all the time. All the time. Lisa, talk, 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 Mike. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Talk, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. So, no, I disagree. I kicked that one to the curb. That's a lie. It's a bold-faced lie. Dudes don't want women talking. They want us barefoot and pregnant. Well, my husband didn't want me barefoot or pregnant. Thank God. Because he wasn't getting neither of that. Sometimes I'm barefoot, but, but I'm never pregnant. And I'm rarely in the kitchen, only if I'm in there to eat. That's the only time I'm in the kitchen. Okay, sorry. I got off. I got I got sidetracked. I'm back. Okay. I'm back. We would rather fix your problem than listen about it. God, they don't wear listening ears. No. They don't. They just want to fix it. They want to fix it. They don't want to listen. But where the awkwardness comes in is when, you know what, I don't need a fix. Right? Then they don't understand why you're talking about it. No, they don't. No. Right? Because if it can't be like, like, last week you bitched about no bananas, I fixed it and got you bananas. (laughs) Oh my God, still on the banana kick. Still on the banana kick. Oh my God. Okay. Still on the banana kick. Sometimes they just like to be alone and it has nothing to do with... With you. What yes, does that it mean? does. Yes. Remember, they don't like me. Yes, they don't like me. You know what he wants around. You're telling him to get a new date. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but that I can tell him that. He can't tell okay. me. Okay, yeah, he can't, so he can't go get no, one. Her there's a feel. double yeah. standard yes. happening. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. a big double standard. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Durr. Big. Okay. Big time. Sometimes they just want to be quiet. No, oh, hi. They always want to be quiet, and then it's awkward, and then you, then you, and, and then, then you, you think talk. they're, and then you talk, and then you talk, <laughs> because then I think you're mad, and why are you being mad? It's like texting. If you don't text back right away, oh I'm sending you a text God. saying, "Are you mad? Are you mad?" Right? <laughs> no, I'm not mad. Oh, no, I'm not God. mad. I was going to the bathroom. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We don't always think about sex. The men don't. No. Mm. Do you remember? <laughs> You know, if that was true, we wouldn't have had to do a segment called Not a Sign. Right. Right? Yeah. If that was true, we wouldn't have had to come up with a million and one ways. Don't shave your legs. Right. right? You're good. Yeah. Well, you know, and that might be the final. Ooh. That is not, yeah, hey, yeah, that might be, that might be. Thanks. That's not a sign. That's not a sign. Yeah. Shaving your legs, shaving your armpits, shaving I anything. Think, I think that men. <laughs> not a sign. Okay. I think as a dude, as my inner dude, yeah, we are. We're thinking about having sex all the time. As a woman, oh, yeah, they are thinking about having sex all the time. I'm 14. I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait. I, there's a partial boner on in the back seat right now. Thinking yeah. about having sex right now. Ricky Bobby, Ricky keep it Bo- inside. Ricky keep Bobby, it keep it down. Keep hands, it down. Hands where I can see them. So we will not turn off the light, Ricky. No, the light stays on. Is this called private? <laughs> this is, is this our private time? There's no private time. Private is alone, oh. one-on-one time. Oh. One, that's not a bad one-on-one time. Just one with yourself time. Yeah, with that's yourself. private. Okay. Yeah. Men, okay. not replying to our messages or texts hurts them too. Okay, not my guy. <laughs> my my husband. This is. I'll say to Mike. Okay, so I'm going on holidays, and I'll be like, okay, well, I'll call when. Well, I don't know, but I'll call. Or I'll say to him, you know what, okay, let's not worry because we're not talkers. I'll be like, okay, I'll just text you, and I'll just block you. <laughs> right? I'm like, right? He, he's the worst to have a texting conversation with. Is he? Yeah, because he doesn't, he, he doesn't reply. Oh. It's like. R&R. Yeah. Red, or I'll no say reply. you, so even if it's work-related, if I say to him, okay, oh, you know what, taking, taking the 6 o'clock bus, he won't reply back saying, Okay. I just want an okay. I just want an okay. Right? So you don't think somebody stole me or something. Oh, you know what? Because he, DFC, he don't fucking care. Right? She's gone. There's nobody talking. I'm good. That's so quiet. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Okay. We can't read your mind. I agree with that. I agree. As a dude, I agree with that. They can't read our minds. And as a woman, I agree with that. <clears throat> yeah. Do we want them I'll reading agree. our minds? No. No. Nope. Oh, right? that'd be bad. Can you imagine? <laughs> I don't want them reading my mind. I don't want them reading my texts. I don't want them reading my emails. <laughs> I don't want them reading. No. But you can read my lips. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Last one. They are straightforward. Yes. And can move their dicks. Slightly on command. Okay. Let's all try it right now. <laughs> Here we go. The 14 year old boy. I did it. Right? I, I work with that 14 year old boy. Yes, you do. A lot. A lot that 14 year old boy comes out. Yes. I'm just saying. Oh my He's goodness. He's at work every day. That's funny. That is kind of funny. That's okay. Funny. So here's the importance of Movember. Right? Yes. For the dudes. Yes. Right? Go get checked out. Go get your balls checked. Go get your balls checked. You got to get your balls checked. Get your, your t- colon touched. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because it's prostate cancer. And I get none of it. Cancer. And here's the thing. I get none of it is exciting for them. No. But guess what? We go through it too. Oh, we, we do more. Right? Hi. Scoot down. Didn't you? Scooch. <laughs> Scooch. Scooch. Right? A little further. A little further. It'll just feel like a pinch in my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> In my eyeball. Ouch. I felt it in the back of my eyeball. Oh, that's really cold. Yeah. Oh, 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 ow, 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 right? ow, 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 ow. Really? Yeah. Higher? More? Yeah. Ow. Right? Ow, ow. I don't bend like that anymore. <laughs> I'm 50. Right? right? That's like nasty shit. It's just all bad. When you get told to scoot, you know what you're doing. There's nothing good with scoot. Just scoot your eyes and, and, just, scoot. and then make small talk. Oh. Yes. Right? No. So, guys, we go through it. Just go through it. It's not pleasant. No. Please go through it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it, guys. It's cool. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's important. So, guys, if you love us, we need you to share us. We yeah. want you to subscribe to our podcast. Go to any app. 
subscribe to us. Hit subscribe. Yeah. Physically, hit subscribe. And you're going to get our episode as soon as we download it into the system. It's like, it's like, oh, you know what? Joe needs it. Here you go, Joe. <laughs> Just like that. Just right? like that. Just like that. So if you love us, share us. If you want to keep us, you want to keep on top of when the episodes are out, subscribe to us. Yes. You can go to Podbean or any app that you have. Anything. That allows you to subscribe to podcasts. Share us. We're there. Yeah. Okay. We just want to have fun. Lisa. Samantha. You got a nice shake my head? I do. And you know what? I got one. And I'm not happy about it. Oh. It's about my kid sister. Oh. My oh, kid no. sister, Bill. What happened to Bill? So she's applying for jobs, right? Because mm-hmm. you know what? She she had a daycare. She was raising her kids. Mm-hmm. But she's she's a retail hoe like me. Yep. Right? It's in our it's in our blood. We're retail hoes. So she's been applying for jobs. Oh, yeah. So she applied for a job at uh, a plus size store. Can I say it? Can I say the name? No. No? Don't. Rhymes with, if you were going to have a plus size pet. Remington. Pettingtons. <laughs> If you had a plus size pet, you would take them to Peddington's. Uh-huh. Okay, so so a plus size store. And she is not, oddly enough, when you see me, my sister is the very opposite. So yes. she's not a plus size girl at all. She's mm-hmm. very, very, very tiny. And but has tons of experience, successful store manager, uh, proven sales records and everything, right? Really great asset to have on your in your retail world. Applied at at um, at a plus size store, mm-hmm. right? Where where at one point we worked and prided ourselves on on hiring a lot of people that weren't plus size, mm-hmm. right? Because you know what, we believe that that doesn't matter what your body type is. We all have issues, mm-hmm. whether we are whether we're plus size, whether we're really petite or whatever. We all have issues, so we just need to have empathy, yes. right? So people look at plus size people. And, and they think, oh, you know what? Oh, th- you know, we judge. People look at, at really, really tiny people and we judge. We don't know why they're the way they are, right? We right. don't know we don't know what their circumstances are or anything like that or what their struggles are. We need to empathize with them. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so this particular store completely skinny shamed her, right? She had a job interview and almost two hours before the interview for a job that she was completely qualified for, they phoned and told her that the position had been magically eliminated. No. Yes. Huh. And you know what? That's not cool. No. no. That's not cool. No. Right? So that's my I shake my head. Is, yeah. is That's not body shame people. It doesn't matter what your body type is. No. no. Everybody has issues. Exactly. Right? Like, so that was my, yeah, bullshit. That that's is bullshit. bullshit. Yeah. That's your bullshit moment. That's my moment. bullshit moment. Yeah. That's bigger than I shake my head. That is. You made me say bullshit too. Okay. Oh. Yeah. HHG? Yes, I do. So, we went to the <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Did I scare you? A little bit. <laughs> Sorry. She's got some enthusiasm. We went to a restaurant before we got in the car for an hour. Yes. Go to the washroom after. Like, you got to do your business, do your business. Yeah. You look up, no toilet paper. Then you look at the toilet paper holder, and guess what it's called? What? It's called the Never Out 3000. <laughs> guess what? It was out. It's out. <laughs> Don't call yourself the never out 3000 if you're out. If you're out. Okay? Don't do it, man. I had to sit in there. I had to wait till someone came in. And then... Did oh, you have to talk to somebody? Yeah. No. Uh, it's the worst, right? Wow. Yeah, so I'm like... Eh, eh. You never shared that with us. I know. I Just tell them now. <laughs> you're right. Don't don't label yourself don't something yourself. you aren't. No. Right? Nope, don't. That's like, it. don't be the energizer bunny if you can't go, go, go. It's right. the same type of thing, right? <laughs> it's the same type of thing. Oh, wow. God. That's a good one. Okay. Good one. Samantha? Well... What about you? Mine is... I shake my head at people. Oh. They don't have common sense. No common sense. No, there's none. Okay. So, I have a home phone. Yes. And I have an answering machine. There's no message on the answering machine. It's like the basic, please leave a message. That's it. After the beep. That's it. I didn't personalize nothing. A person kept calling and hanging up, listening to the automated message, phoned the third time, the fourth time. They left a message on my answering machine and gave me their personal information because they thought my phone was an insurance company. No way. No. Yes. And I thought, you're a dumbass. Like maybe the no. first maybe the first two times I get. But wow. If you didn't hear in that message <laughs> anything. Anything remotely relating to the place that you want to try to contact, yeah. don't leave your shit on an answering wow. machine. Hey. And why during the day would 
a place of business, not, not answer have answers. We can answer the phone. Did you get any good information? Anything we can use? I could. I Let's had, go on Amazon. It was, Let's go on Amazon. Could we buy stuff? <laughs> no. Did you get a credit card? No. no. Shoot. And I was just like, you're stupid. So I'm like, I erased the message and just thought, hopefully she learned her lesson. Wow. Right? Nope. She called again. No. I'm like, fuck off. Finally, I picked the phone. Hi. <laughs> Hi, is this blah, blah, blah insurance? Nope. Because nope. I would have answered blah, blah, blah <laughs> oh insurance. So wow. When you don't hear what you need to hear, people, you phoned the wrong number. Yeah, don't call back. No. Don't call, don't back. call back. So I shake my head. Yes. I shake my head at yep. that. That's bad. Oh, my God. Although, I swear to God, you and I are the only two people left in Saskatoon with home with landlines. You don't have landlines? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Landlines. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Topic for next week. Okay. We're talking about the American American Thanksgiving. And we have another guest. And we have another guest. Should we say who? Well, it's Jessica. Yes. From the She Podcast. From the She Podcast. And Brilliant Observations. And Brilliant Observations. Yeah. We're going to her. Because we want we want the skinny on American America. Thanksgiving. America. Yeah. So let's uh, let's see what that looks like. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> you know she's gonna keep us she's gonna she's gonna keep us on our toes. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. All right. Now you know you want to wear us. Because we have merch. Because we have merch. Because we have merch. Go to wehavemerch.com. Yeah. You can get a hat. You can get a mug. You can get a t-shirt. You can get a beer cozy. You can get a wine bag. HHG yeah, needs a wine bag. I got my wine bag. Right? You carry Wait, us I in your wine bag. bag. <laughs> right? You are a wine bag. Exactly. Um, uh, Podbean Patreon. Yes. So you know the drill, guys. We were talking about it. Not only do we want you just to listen, we want you to subscribe. Like I do. Yes, hit uh-huh. subscribe. But we also want you to become a part of the, part of the Patreon account. Yes. So because, again, right, it takes a village of three. Here we are. It's a village of three to keep this baby going. Uh-huh. And uh, you know what? It takes some time. It takes some energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We think that we're providing, hopefully, a good service. Yeah. So go to Podbean. See Sam's face. Punch, punch it, it. Punch it. I like that part. Starts at two bucks. Starts at two bucks. Uh, a big thanks to Audio Editing Solutions for making us sound way better than we should. Yeah, especially in the winter in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to us on Podbean, iTunes, iHeartRadio, or any pod app that you can find. Just type in I Shake My Head. Google us. You'll find us. We're there. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And join the group. Join the group. Join Join the movement. Let's be a movement. Let's be a movement. Let's be a movement. A movement movement for fun. We're having so much fun on Facebook. We're like posting crazy stuff, eh? (laughs) And crazy stuff's getting posted. (laughs) And we're posting crazy stuff. Yeah, I'm not saying any more about it. (laughs) I'm saying nothing more. But you know what? Join and be part of all that fun. Yeah. It'll be good. All right. Anything else, ladies? HHG. Thanks for having me, ladies. Thanks for letting us bully you all week into coming. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Bullying's not always bad. No, it's no, not. It worked, it worked out, it worked out awesome. just fine. It yeah. worked out well. Samantha, mm-hmm. always a pleasure. Yeah, it should be. Mm-hmm.